IA switches. Let's look at the uh, functionality of an IA switch. It's pretty straightforward. First thing you do when you're going to edit a switch, let me zoom in on the LCD. Okay, uh, so select the IA switch you want to modify. So I'm going to go ahead and select the tuner, which is number 13. Okay, first thing you can do is edit the name. And uh, there are a couple of cheat sheets if you don't want to type out. I'm not going to save it, but uh, these buttons aren't lit, but it has built-in names that you can scroll up and down and define. So you can go up, uh, down, and uh, and go from there. So that uh, that's how you do it if you want to do the quick cheating way without having to type in everything. So I'm going to go ahead and leave the name Tuner. Then we have a nickname, uh, which I'm going to leave Tuner. And again, if you hit the uh, uh, button 12, it'll copy the first eight characters of the uh, the full name, so you don't have to type in a nickname. The type of switch, uh, right now this tuner switch is set as a quick tap, but uh, you can have a stomp switch type, a momentary, uh, a step, and a quick tap. MIDI messages, uh, right now, let's walk through that, so I have one MIDI message right here, it's an on message that we're programming first. It's message number one. It's a MIDI command. Let's go ahead and move to the next parameter. Now it doesn't have to be a MIDI command. It could be empty, which means there's nothing programmed. It could be a MIDI command or it could be a bunch of special commands. So I have tuner, steps, I can send a sysx message, and now sysx messages have nicknames so you'll actually see what sysx number you're sending. Uh, I can program a delay. I can tell it to go to the last preset. So maybe this IA switch is triggering a last preset. I can trigger a last page that was used. I could change page and just tell it what page to go to. So scroll over here. You have up to 50 pages. So you can set an IA switch to now change pages. Uh, it makes it real easy. Oops. So let's see. Last page. Change a page. So I can give it a page number. Uh, preset trigger. I can have an IA switch trigger an actual preset number. I can trigger the on message of a, uh, a different IA switch. I can trigger an off message or I can toggle. So whatever state it's on, it's just going to flip it. So if it's on, it goes off. If it's off, it goes on set a color so I can go ahead and change the color of the IA switch when I step on it so it doesn't have to be red or green uh, it could be any color you so choose uh, store preset so if I hit an IA switch with this command it'll store whatever the current preset is why would you do that because there's a special function called recall preset so I can always jump right back to some particular preset that I was on Trigger first, uh, that's pretty straightforward, that's a button. Uh, go to a global page, expression pedal, uh, override, so I can override an expression pedal. I can send the values of an expression pedal, so if I want to resend the values when I get into a preset, let's say, then that's a special command that will resend the current values of all the expression pedals. I can resend the current or resend a particular value. Maybe you want to mute all your expression pedals to zero, let's say, during a mute function. And uh, and then send whatever the current values were that the, uh, the pedals are at at that moment in time. So you can send those. So those are some of the special commands. Okay. So I'm going to go back to the way it was programmed, which was a MIDI command. Uh, he here it's asking what the MIDI channel is, so I have it set for one. Here you program what kind of MIDI message you're going to send, so program change, uh, CC number, in this case because we're programming the tuner. My CC, my CC number in the X for the tuner is 15 and then it's an on message. So that's what message number one is and that's kind of how you program it. So if I go to message number two you can see that, alright, so message number one, 
Send a CC command to the AxeFX to tell it to turn the tuner on. Message number two tells the liquid foot go into guitar tuner mode. And message number three tells it to, to send a CC message uh, to the axe shutting the tuner off. So pretty straightforward, nothing fancy. And that's the whole switch. So there's an example of the on messages. There are no off messages for a tuner. I can set this as a global IA. I can uh, set the initial state if it is a global IA. So when you power on the uh, liquid foot, what state should the IA switch go in if it's a global switch? So that could be off, on, or in bypass mode. Uh, if I want to assign it a group, I can I have up to seven groups. Each group has a different color uh, that it will uh, display on the screen. Uh, am I synced? I can sync it with uh, different devices. And if I do sync it with a device, let me change it so now it's syncing with an axe effect so then at this point I would just pick what effect it's going to sync with so I'll get out of there okay so I think I went through all the options there so uh, let's see sync yeah, shut the syncing off okay and here I program the on color the off color and the bypass color and they all default to green is on, red is off but you can set it to any of the 15 colors so you have seven colors bright, seven colors dimmed and then uh, recall typo, save that for a later day so that's how you program IA switches uh, the quick version of it anyway, there's a lot more functionality but I'm just trying to give you the quick, quick version of the uh, tour here and uh, again you have uh, up to let's go all the way up so you have 1 through 60 uh, different IA slots that you can program and those slots you could use or not use at a page level and put them anywhere physically on a button so those are IA slots